shining face that this world has forgotten. Ready my camera. You guys aren't seeing me clearly. I'm showing it to my PC like they have a cam on, which I don't. There we go. We got a nine tails. We definitely got a nine tails here. I don't know, that doesn't look too shabby. Um, there are a few Pokemon here that stands out. It's super annoying for me to actually you know, wither along with. Uh, Blissey is definitely annoying. Uh, Greninja is gonna be annoying. Actually, thinking about it, probably all of them are you know up there. Huh. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Um, I feel like my Pokemon are kind of out of place for this matchup. Aren't a lot of things going on there that could work in my favor? Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, let's do this. And also to Xenon, you know, good luck. Have fun. Let's freaking do this. Let's see. If I got my Arceus back and go extreme, it goes near an extreme killer Arceus. Fuck it back up, dude. I mean, Arceus barely only needs a sword stance anyway, right? Also, hey, Marlene. Thank you for joining. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna lead up with Goose Butter. Mirage. Alright, that's an uh, okay lead. What do Mirage want to do? The second time I'm facing him. That's my go to nickname, by the way, on Flygon. <laughs> Always named it Mirage since Generation 3. It's a great scene you're using the scene on. But I don't believe Flying can do too much to me. I have been alive before. Alright, hard switching out goes to. There we are. Ah, the Nine Tails. That's a great nickname, by the way. So we're gonna go for a Toxic and. Uh, I mean, it's not incredibly helpful by any chance of imagination, but we also get some passive damage on there. So, buff by the hail, then recover by the leftovers. It's one of those games. And, uh, oh, what scares me here is Freeze Dry or Aurora Beal. I do believe both of them are super tough. Yeah, we still haven't got any news on Pokebank. I, I wonder when that will be updated. Alright, I'm not gonna risk it. Free Strike just do too much damage on me. So I'm gonna bring Ifrit, my Torkoal, and get the Drought going. Uh, so if he goes to Nora War of at least it will be stopped. Ah, yes. That was awesome. That's what we wanted. Win the Wither War. Or at least try. It's alright, I'm really getting Blissey here. The world though. What a wild. <laughs> How do you even say that? <laughs> Alright, but Blitz has a natural cure, which means it's it helps that I have it toxic, but it will not help me in the long run. I don't know what this Pokemon necessarily want to do either. I know I can't hurt him. I know that. And chance him at least get uh, soft boil naturally, which is just the best. Because that means that there are no passive recovery or I can without Sander. As he goes to Mirage, that's unfortunate. As I'm gonna bring in Muck. So like I said, 
it's unfortunate. Hmm. Do I have a proper switch of this anyway? Don't think I do. Huh. Hey, Ben. What's up? All right. Ghost through earthquake. I have sugar berries. At least we will take one, as it should do a little bit over fifty percent. If if it's a bad call, yeah, almost, almost. It's definitely up there. Uh, knockoff should do a good amount of damage. Let's see. Get the poison touch. And now we know, of course, that this thing has... Uh, oh, what's leftovers? It's leftovers, right? No passive recovery here, at least. But didn't do too much damage either. That didn't feel as good as I was hoping for. Yeah, blame Hayden, Xenon. Blame Hayden for all the poison po poison touches. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Ghost of Bada here. I really hope I can soak something. Ghost of Roost. Alright, that's the right play. That's the right play, definitely. The sun is still in motion though, which is kind of nice, I just haven't found a way to switch in my uh, victory bell at this point. I know once I get the victory bell, things might get a little bit more interesting, but at the time being, it's tough. Oh, you didn't have natural general blissy! Oh, That sucks, you know. The serene grace. That makes sense too though. I mean, with Ice Beam and whatnot, so it's, it's not a complete slide of question. This is a Ghost of Veriga. I know what's gonna go happen here. Snow Warning is back. As Scald should do just about nope. Mainly because it is Nine Tails. And it's specially defensive, naturally. With Aurora Veil, I kinda feel like that's gonna just keep on going. Hey! Alex, what's up? How are you doing, buddy? Also, Pico Kiss, thank you for joining. <sighs> Where do you now? I kind of feel I have to. Ah, oh. I want to whittle down Nine Tails. I know I can pull a double on me. I definitely know that. Uh, the only tiers in uh, Sun and Moon right now are OU and UU. And OU and UU are at the moment kind of broken. Won't necessarily deny that. So there are tiers, but we're basically doing Wi Fi battles with either Taboos and UBs or not. Basically, to try to. Try to make the games more interesting. I don't know as interesting as it can get. I mean, it's me we're talking about, and you know, I'm only as interesting as it gets. Do anybody get the Goose of Battle reference? For those missed out, Goose Battle is what uh, Jack Nicholson says to Adam Sandler in Anger Management to relax. Goose Battle. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Aurora Veil again, no Moonblast directly. And Moonblast shouldn't do too much. Due to resistance and whatnot. And there is a poison, so it's gonna kick in and you keep pushing him down. Um Huh.
Well, Blissey has to come back. There we go. I'm gonna go for Fire Blast. Just to see how much damage it does, I don't expect it to do too much. It's respectable. I mean, it's not completely weird. It's not the best damage I would have done, but you know, it's up there. It's up there. Now, one has to consider what type of moveset can we expect from a Blissey. Um... Also, Alex, hey, do you got the game? That's great. Huh. Thing is here, it could be a passive version, but since he has Serene Grace, I'm kinda... Kinda not feeling that's the case. Ah, oh, damn it. Do I want to go back to Spitzbot? I kinda do. I just want to see if it has Toxic or if it's going to go for an offensive move and so how much will it do. Um, come on, Muck. Calm mind. There we go. I want to do it. The only perk I have here is that I'm still a Muck. Being naturally special defensive and I have Bliss on a timer means pretty much that I can force it down. The Ring Race is always a factor. When it comes to you know, the damage I put here. I'm not sure I would speed it. I'm not sure I would speed a Blissey, even though Muck is fairly you no know, below average. Blissey is also a pretty darn slow Pokemon. I guess you have to find out. Let's see, Pillar is a good counter for Torkoal. It's like episode 9 of Sun and Moon with the new abilities. Yeah, I mean, Torkoal is a bad weather setter. I mean, even with, you know, if you got Stealth Rocks, of course, with the, the banks open up, it still is an awful for Pokemon to set up Sun with. That's the only one we got at the moment. Kind of missing shards of Y. Won't deny that. Right, this Ice Beam clearly outspeeds me. And we take that, Knock, I was gonna do a plethora amount of damage. And no left doors here, which means that Softball is his only way of recovery here. And I'm okay with that. Hey, Kelly, what's up? <laughs> also, thank you for that. I kind of felt that I really like going over the top with the double intro. So, <laughs> let's see. Can we take another ice beam? Yes. So we gotta get a free curse going. I was kind of hoping, you know, we'd switch out there. But that's that's the right play. That's the right play made there. So Bliss is gonna be taken out by Toxic, uh, which is awesome. Very very needed. And I don't know what he would switch into now. Actually, Mandibus makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> Mandibus makes sense. Ah. Uh. And I'm so little down anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Shadow Sneak and probably trying to get that Poison Touch going. Because I'm awesome like that. Crit at all! Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, fucking worth it. That has weak armor? That's new. And C move on that. Huh. What what could I expect now? So clearly, jokes on C move mirror move. What does that even do? Well, it's an attack move. It's an attack move. <laughs> Damn. All right. Um. So that happened. <laughs> Good thing I didn't switch out. Um, holy fucking shit. Huh.
Wait, do C move? Do that C move raise speed and attack by two? No. That couldn't be. You kidding me? Is that what happened now? Huh. Yeah, that I did not forget. Um, I just, I just don't get what did um, what did Simu do? Or Simu raised? Okay. I'm I'm trying to understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it had bone rush and miss. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Sion. <laughs> it had bone rush and miss. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Sion. <laughs> So bone was like, oh no! <laughs> this is why I had a roar reveal. <laughs> oh god, I'm really sorry, Xenon. I'm, I'm actually, I'm really am. Let's see. So Simuru gives you plus two attack and plus two speed and offensive move depending on your opponent's last move. No, only plus two in um, only plus two in attack, but he was plus two due to weak armor. That's fucking sweet. Like seriously, I've never experienced anything like it. Passive C moves are just the best. I guess I could make channel playing kind of interesting with mirror move and whatnot. Alright, I'm bringing back Ghost Bada because I really don't know how to deal with Flygon. Uh, see, Ghost Earthquake, that's the right move to make. And we have to see whether or not he is offensive. He kinda is! But not by a lot. But he definitely is offensive ish. That should be considered offensive C move, yeah. That should definitely be considered one. Socrates comes in, alright. I went for an earthquake hoping for, uh, you know, <coughs> Night Tales. Uh, and also, PV2 Lover, thank you for course joining. So. What do I do? 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 Can I do? Damn it. Um, I mean, Power Whip just rips me apart. That's kind of the point, I guess. <sighs> I did some decent damage, though. I know this variant is Assault Vest. Or rather, if you kept. My set on Socrates Rest and it's a Soul Vest. We'll just have to find out. Not particularly fond of that Pokemon. The Anchor Pokemon is just one of those Pokemon that just rips teams apart and I hate for it. So I'm gonna bring Better Nadictus as we are going to see Anchor Shot. So that's okay. That clearly did hurt.
That did way more than I thought it did. It would. 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 Huh. That was basically a 50% hit on me. Damn it. Why do I always assume that... Um, right, he switches out, goes back... Oh! We're gonna knock Mirage out! Oh! Boom! Boom! I was so fair nice was coming in there. Ah, oh, that's great. That's great. Fuck you, fly on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was trying to say is I really I always think that fighting type persists steel types and always gets you no know, proven wrong every time. That's right, Nay Ken. Ah. I see what you're trying to do there, Xenon. Trying to steal my glory, are you? Don't know if this is the right switching though. I'm gonna bring you Freet because it's awesome. And then hope for if it goes for water shuriken, it's at least gonna be reduced. But ice beam is what it has to go for or dog pulse. As we see dog pulse as a stab hit, that's gonna hurt. When we see life orb, that's also a good indication. Let's see what happens. Please go for Ice Beam. Keeps going for Dark Pulse. How much will it do? Oh, we do take it though! We do take it! We do take it. We don't take it convincingly, but we do take it. We're not completely screwed yet. Oh, it's gonna come down to the wire, I'm sure. I mean, once Battle Bond kicks in, we have a very, very nasty situation ahead of us. Because there's no way he can knock us out, which is great. Right, it goes for U-turn, and that does enough that I think I, I can definitely not take another Dark Pulse this time around, there's no way in hell I can do that. Goes to Socrates, and that's good, as we went for a Fire Punch in the Sun. That looks about right. That was clear luck play. I needed to do that. I really did. Sucker Trust just annihilates me at this point. That Valbon situation we have coming is something I don't want to necessarily enjoy.
Hmm. All right, expecting Aurora Veil here. I really need to go into Ifrit, so he could pull a double on me, but he didn't do that because he stays in here. So he even goes for attacking move uh, that shouldn't kill me. Goes for Blizzard. Don't. Keeps holding on! Did not want to take a gamble there. I did not want to take that gamble. Blizzard would have killed my Electowire, no doubt. Damn, this game is going to go down to wire. Uh, even if there's a 2-0 with this situation, um, one should definitely take account for a Bokra Ninja and Ninetales can sweep her from this point on. They just need to come, you know, get on top, really. Alright, Moonblast might actually not take me out. Nope, it didn't. As long as the sun is up, I am potentially winning. Yeah, it'll, that's GG. That's GG. Um, because the thing is, here is, if he won the Weather War, he was going to win the whole game. I had no mon on my field that potentially can outspeed a Greninja. Uh, it's only, the only Pokemon I have that can do that is Victory Bell. Which I clearly get out now, and I it's going to KO the, the Greninja. But... I mean, we have one situation here which you just have to be, of course, accounted for. That is, of course, a situation that is Mandibus and the Miss of Bone Rush. I'm pretty sure that decided the whole game, actually, because this game came down through wire, and with a situation like that, with, you know, hacks in mind, that sucks. Because I'm pretty sure that Zeno would have won this game had that not transpired. Uh, with that said, Zeno, that was an awesome game. Good job, buddy. Definitely a worthy upload. I'm definitely going to look forward to actually uploading this today already. Because that was a close game. I definitely enjoyed something like this. And there were plays made. Definitely. So, what is worth? Uh, good job. Definitely. Let's see. I had Bone Rush and Brave Bird, but 90 is more like 70. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure Bone Rush... Could have killed me since you were in plus two. That's, that's extremely likely because I'm still an Electivire. <laughs>